Tonight on Monday Night Raw, Shawn Michaels with Diesel, who has a name now. Defends the Intercontinental title. I'm just thinking about the end of this show when they've got like two minutes left of, of dead air. And Vince just turns over and he goes, what was your favorite part of the show tonight? <laughs> I liked that. <laughs> you should do that more often. But there was nothing good on it. That's why it was well, funny. That's the problem. If it had been like a good show, it's like, God damn, what a good show. What was your favorite part, Randy? Yeah. yeah. Instead, it was like a bunch of shit. Hey, Bobby, what was your favorite piece of shit on this show? <laughs> well, Vince, okay. I sure love that fucking match with the Bastion Booker. The concept <laughs> of looking back at highlights of the show is a good idea on paper, even if in execution, this is not the show to do it. Shawn Michaels with Diesel, who has a name, but we'll get to his gear shortly. Yep. Uh, defends the title against Kamala. I hesitate to even say this out loud. Crush versus Bastion Booger. I'm glad I watched it. What? A Yokozuna yeah. interview. Yeah. Our opener is, in fact, Shawn Michaels versus Kamala. So I, I'm sure all you've seen Kevin Nash matches. Just picture Diesel in your head. He's got the the black leather pants and like the silver, the black singlet, and the one black glove. That is not the Diesel that walked out here with Sean. No. Considering he is seven feet tall, this may be the most acid washed denim I've ever seen on a human being. Fair. Neck to toes. It's a lot of acid that went into this outfit. Tucked mm-hmm. jeans tucked into his cowboy boots. And by the way, his cowboy boots are short. But his legs are long, so they looked ridiculous. <laughs> Not as ridiculous as the denim jacket. Probably that uh, match that you and me and Farmer had in about 1997 when I wore those fucking tights in my shooter boots, and then I put the knee pads underneath my fucking tights, so I had even I looked like uh, olive oil. Well, and these big fucking knobby knees. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, did I mention the mirrors all over the jacket? Mm-hmm. This was a this this was a fit. This was a look, for sure. Yeah, It wasn't a good one, but it was a look. So I would much rather talk about Diesel's denim than the match that happened here. Oh, my God. This match. I saw Shawn Michaels have a good match with fucking Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yep. Bro. Uh, You didn't see him have one with Kamala. This match was so horrible. (laughs) And it's funny because Shawn was kind of trying, but not really. But, like, even kind of trying, like, he was phenomenal. Yeah. But it was still a horrible, yeah. horrible match. Mm-hmm. No redeeming qualities to this match whatsoever. No. no. So for some details, they do five minutes, or at least it felt that long, of uh, comedy. You have Sean offering a handshake. Oh, well, the Ugandan savage accept. This went on for a long time. They fight for a while. Kamala grabs a bear hug. We go to commercial. We come back. They're still doing the bear hug. Not only that, Sean's in the bear hug, but he's on his back. And so the ref is like counting pins, and Sean's got to roll over and lift his shoulder up. So Kamala knows how to pin guys when he's hugging them. No, I think it was supposed to be an accident. I see. He didn't He didn't really know what was he was doing. So they did a spot where Kamala missed a high knee in the corner. Well, it's that funny because work. they fucked it up the first time. I see. Sean was supposed to move, but he didn't. <laughs> and so Kamala just runs, stops, and then runs again. God. And then, you know, they do the, they immediately go back to the same spot, and Sean gets out of the way this time. I was trying to think of when Kamala has ever hit a high knee in the corner. But he... That must be where Triple H found it. I'm sure <laughs> Triple H watches Kamala tapes. So the he announcer watches was... Shawn Michaels tapes. Oh, that's actually the no truth. offense to anyone named Bert. Well, when no. you spell it with a U, it's much worse. Vinny, you got to go to NXT, and your name is Bert, okay? <laughs> you can either spell it B-E-R-T or B-U-R-T. You're going to look at both of those, you're going to go, E for sure. Yeah. Right, Craig? Craig knows. Yeah, because, like, it's, like, I drank so much, I burnt. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what? First it was Narcissus. Okay. But then later it changed to The Narcissist. Yes. With a T. Yes. But that wasn't Narcissus. That was The Narcissist. The Narcissist. No! The narcissist. Who cares? Bert. <laughs> yeah. Bert narcissist. <laughs> Bert, like Bert. Bert. I'm sorry. I need to recover from Bert narcissist. <laughs> He's such a narcissist. He kept the name Bert. <laughs> yeah. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, 
all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.